Greetings. Elder Black Light. Once upon a time, in the Motor City, around 19. 56, we moved on the street called Wildermere. A lot of people, they used to pronounce it Wildermere because <clears throat> it was wild. Cross streets were Finkel, the main cross streets, major cross streets were Finkel and Oakman. Or you could say Finkel and Davidson. Then Linwood and Dexter were the major cross streets. <clears throat> when I moved over there, it was a, a majority Caucasian neighborhood made up of mostly Italians and uh, Jews, European Jews, and it was a, a, a mafia presence on 12th, which ran into Finkel, it's now called Rosa Park Boulevard, and it was in walking distance where the riots uh, jumped off at. Now back in those days it's a different breed of brothers. That was around the time when Martin Luther King was marching but in Detroit the Nation of Islam presence was strong in the neighborhoods and over there on the west side my uncle Aziz was close friends of Malcolm Malcolm X and my mother was close friends and my uncle stayed not too far from me it was in walking distance on Normandy and Puritan in the vicinity of uh, Sam Cook, I mean not Sam Cook, uh, Jackie Wilson. Where Jackie Wilson used to live on Wildermere, the same, same street I lived on. And uh, David Ruffin a little later moved over on Parkside. And uh, then you had Levi family, Levi of the Four Tops, stayed about two blocks over from my house on a street called Fairfield and Burke and I met Levi's brother but I never did and I met Levi one day I ran into him but uh, that was years after I was a grown man and Levi was a, uh, almost an elder he got he, he had a couple maybe 10 15 years on me so the Caucasians they didn't want they didn't want us to uh, go to school over there and they had a hot rod gang they had a, a motorcycle gang and then they had the police, all, all, mostly all white police. And we clashed with both of them, but we were different than, than y'all are today. We had run-ins run with all three of those groups. 
and they were walking, the, the cops was walking the beat, and they had to pull them off the beat, put them in patrol cars. I ain't gonna go through all the things we did, but they were doing things to us, and we were doing things to them. And finally, we ran them away. Uh, we ran them out of there within the within a uh, four to five year span over in that area. Uh, it became majority black and a minority Caucasian. And we ran them across Lebanon, and then across Wyoming, and then across. Eventually, all the way to cross Grand River to Telegraph. And going north, we ran them uh, all the way to cross Eight Mile. That's where your boy Eminem, black people so crazy about, you know. But he's a different generation, different black, different young black people. You know, and uh, then uh, going south, south of Davidson, they were completely out from that area. They went to, used to be dominant, the, the Caucasians used to be dominant at Central High School on Linwood where uh, the temple, where the mosque is now, and uh, across from Central. And, 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 and uh, they moved from Central, it was predominantly black. When they went to Northwestern, it was it's predominantly black. Northern, predominantly black. Now, Cody was predominantly Caucasian. But my young cousins and them were getting them up off of Cody, out of, from out of Cody. That's over there on uh, Joy Road and Greenview. I used to live over there. And Mackenzie. We were getting them up out of McKenzie, and uh, that was that's on uh, Wyoming. <coughs> Cooley, we was getting them up out of Cooley. That's on Wyoming and Finkel. But the ones on Cooley, they the, the Caucasians on Cooley was hard to uh, take out. So the only schools left was Mary Grove College and the University of Detroit, where it was predominantly uh, Caucasian. And eventually, when uh, Spencer Hay Haywood came, uh, that's when it was filling up with blacks. But it never did, you know, blacks did never did dominate it to that extent. So we was fighting them up until the 67 riots and that's when it really burst out but we weren't playing even then. We were sniping them on the rooftops. The news didn't want to report the damage that the blacks did but it scared them. It scared them so much that uh, they uh, got a black mayor in there, thinking that he gon' he was the man to calm him, calm the blacks down, cause he, after all, he was a, a uh, in the air force, you know, for his country. But he fooled them, and when they got when they when they found out that he he wasn't no coon, they got mad at him, and they tried been trying to get him out. Finally. They got the right boule Negroes in there, 
and they worked hand in hand day and night to get him out and that took a toll I believe that hurt him so bad because he fought real hard for the black man in Detroit he stayed in office for 20 years that was Coleman and Alexander Young you know and the real brothers see ain't no more real brothers y'all be calling yourself real uh, Negroes or niggas or something like that but y'all, y'all lost y'all mind, man. You know, y'all better be glad that um, y'all wasn't over in my neighborhood during that time. Now, when that dope came in, that changed, that changed everybody's mind. And over the years, even the nation of Islam started changing. So you got these marshmallow brothers here in Detroit. It's one group that caught my attention, the New Era. You know, I, I don't know them. I've seen them on TV. But they young. It seems like they got a, a little bit on the ball, a lot on the ball. And they in different cities. Uh, but... We weren't having it. Because see now, all the Caucasians gone, but the Chaldeans and the Arabs and took over the city. And now Caucasians is moving back downtown, fixing to change the complexion of the city again, once again. And the FOI, what they, what they, uh, soft self <clears throat> don't know how to take back control of the streets it wasn't it ain't the same for a while that was when uh, Supreme Minister John Muhammad and Malcolm and all them brothers so I, my proposal is Let's take back our throne on black light. 